Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 17.5. Finally, Apple has released the first beta of 17.5 after a couple of weeks without any beta releases. And this is the update right here. Beta 1 of iOS 17.5 will come to your device at around 6.4, 6.5 gigs. Always, of course, will be different on different devices. Now, the build number for this update is 21F5048F. This is the build number ending with an F, which actually indicates that we will probably not see that many betas of this software update. In my opinion, we might see three or four betas of iOS 17.5 before Apple moves on to the RC version and then the public release of iOS 17.5. Now, if you want to install this update on your device, that will of course be very, very easy. All you have to do is head on to your settings, go under general software update right here, and then you will have beta updates. All you have to do here is choose the dev update option and you will get iOS 17.5 beta on your device as the public beta is not released yet. And now let's move on and talk about some of the new features that you will find on the new iOS 17.5. First of all, if we head on into the settings app, go under privacy and security, you will see here we have a new icon for passkey access for web browsers. Now, this used to be here before, but it didn't have an icon at all. Now it has an icon, but if you go here, still there is nothing to be seen here, but it has now a cool new icon. Apple has finally made a change to the widget of the podcast app. So, you know, on podcasts, when you play an episode, you will see this widget right here. But with 17.5, once it starts playing, the widget will change the color, basically matching here the album art of the podcast you're listening to which is actually pretty cool. So you just play something, it immediately just adapts the color of that podcast, which is actually really cool. This was a feature that actually was once on 17.4 beta on one of the betas. I don't exactly remember which one it was, but then they removed it and didn't bring it back with the final release of 17.4, but they have brought it here with the first beta of iOS 17.5. Now, this feature we're going to talk about now is probably one of the most important features that will come to your device with 17.5. Even though it's still in the code and this has been reported by 9to5Mac, it is actually a very important security feature. It is a new anti-stalking system that Apple is adding to iOS 17.5. Well, it has been found on the code of 17.5 hopefully it will actually make it with the release of 17.5 now currently on ios 17.4 and 17.5 we have tracking notifications which basically sends you notifications once your iphone detects air tags or airpods that are not yours that are traveling with you but with this new feature the Find My app will actually recognize tracking gadgets that are not certified by Apple. And this is really, really useful. It will send you notifications most likely, and then users will also be able to disable those tracking gadgets. Now, this is a huge, huge improvement when it comes to privacy and security. Hopefully, this feature that has been found on the code of iOS 17.5 will make it to the final release. And this is right here is also a very important feature that I never thought we will see on iOS, but it's finally here. Unfortunately, just like side loading, web distribution is also only for EU users. Now with 17.5, Apple will support installing apps directly from devs websites. So just like on map, when you go to a website of the software, it will be able to actually install the app directly from the web. You will be able to do that now on iOS as well, starting with iOS 17.5. Again, unfortunately, this will be available only to EU users. Now, some of the features that we thought will be on iOS 17.5, unfortunately, are not here yet. One of them is gaming mode, which actually Apple talked about at WWDC 2023. It hasn't made it to iOS yet. We will have to wait and see for the next betas and see if they will actually add this feature, but I'm doubtful. Probably it will be just 
postponed and will release with iOS 18. Another feature that we thought we might get with this update is a feature that was actually on 17.4 beta 1. It is the live activities and the feature for the dynamic island for the stopwatch that hasn't made it to iOS 17.5 yet. Hopefully it will with the next betas. And now let's move on and talk about performance. So here's the performance score with Geekbench 6 for iOS 17.5 and let's quickly compare it with 17.4. So the single core scored 2,935 for iOS 17.5 beta 1. This is the score for the final public release of iOS 17.4 is 2,968. You can see a slight decrease there, but nothing that big. We also have a decrease here, which is a bit more with the multi-core score. So 7,352, while we have the right here on 17.4, 7,432. Now, I would expect this to actually improve in the next betas and even in this beta in the next couple of days when I do a test probably will be much better. Now, of course, when it comes to battery, we will have to wait for a few days to see how 17.5 will perform. But we can see something here really interesting. It's actually a bug. You can see right here if you go to your battery settings under battery health, you will now have charging title short optimized you tap right there you can see everything is off right here they just made a mess out of this you can see even the learn more link right there it's pretty funny to see this but this is of course a bug that will most likely 100 percent be fixed with the next beta talking about the next beta i would actually expect apple to release the next beta the next week they have gone two weeks without releasing any betas of ios so i would expect apple to actually move on weekly schedule when it comes to 17.5 so the next beta most likely somewhere on the 10th of april that would be the date that i suggest apple should release this update i would expect them to release actually four different betas for ios 17.5 before moving to the rc version probably somewhere here on the 30th or 1st of may and then right here on the second week of may i would actually expect apple to release ios 17.5 to the public so as a final thought should you update or not to ios 17.5 well this update is cool it has few little features but it's nothing that big so of course the performance as you could see there it has a slight decrease and we will have to wait and see how battery performs so without those confirmation from users that are testing it i wouldn't rush into updating to ios 17.5 it doesn't have any like exciting features that you would want to try right away without having to wait for the public beta or the public release so i'd suggest you just wait for a few days maybe until the public beta or just wait and see the reports regarding the battery and the performance of this beta software before you go ahead and install it on your iphone so that is it for this video guys this is ios 17.5 beta 1 finally we have a beta after two weeks of a pause from apple we have the first beta of 17.5 really exciting to see what apple will do with the next betas whether there will be any additional features or not so that's it thank you guys for watching leave a like if you enjoyed the video of course subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one